In this activity, we're going to go over how we can use matrices to code messages and then how we can use the inverse of those matrices to break the coded messages or to decode our messages. Now before we begin coding messages, what we first need to decide is a letter number assignment that we can all agree on and that we're all going to use and stick with. Uh, so what I did is just started with A is 1, B is 2, C, D, etc. Just going on through the alphabet uh, all the way down to Z is 26 and in the event that we use a space in our message we'll use the number 0. And so if we all use this um, we'll all be consistent throughout the class and throughout the activity. Um, so this is definitely a page that you just want to kind of keep handy uh, as we're working on this activity so you can always kind of reference this as far as what letters or what numbers and vice versa. What we need now is a message. Something that we want to code that we can send to somebody uh, to attempt to decode. And so my message is math is awesome. And so what I'm going to do is translate this phrase into its numerical equivalent using the letter number assignment that we saw in the previous slide. And so you have that on your paper in front of you. So for example, M is 13, A is 1, T is 20, H is 8, and between the word math and is there is a space, so I'm going to add a 0, and just continue doing this until you've got the whole message. Okay, so it should look like that. I've got my string of numbers. Now, if I were to just present this to somebody, it would be very easy for that person to decode the message because they would know that the 13 is the M, the 1 is A, the 20 is T, etc., and they could very easily figure out what your message is. So what we have to do is to code these numbers so that they are unrecognizable to anybody else that might intercept or want to look at your message. Now, we're going to use matrices to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, place these numbers in a matrix. The matrix is going to be, I don't quite know how big it's going to be yet, um, but it's going to have two columns and however many rows I need to fill it up. So it's going to kind of begin like this and I'm just going to leave it open-ended at the bottom because I don't know how large I'm going to make it. But the first row will be 13, 1. So just two row or two numbers across, so two columns. And then next is going to be 20 and 8. Next is going to be 0 and 9, 19, 0, and 1, 23, and then 5, 19, and 15, 13, and then 5, and I'm at the end of my message, but I don't have a complete matrix here at the bottom, so what I'm going to do is just pretend that I've got a zero at the end, or a space at the end of this message, and so the space corresponds to the number zero, so I'm just going to add a space at the end so it completely fills in my matrix. Okay, so there's my message placed into a matrix. Now what I need to do is come up with any 2x2 two two matrix that has an inverse to multiply to this matrix right here that I have. So any 2x2 two two matrix that has an inverse is what we're after next. So let's do a little bit of review on inverse matrices and specifically we want to answer this question right here. When does a 2x2 two two matrix not have an inverse? Because in order to do this coded message activity, you want to avoid matrices that do not have inverses. Okay? So the inverse formula, if we recall, for any matrices inverse, okay? Uh, let's just say it like this. If matrix A equals 
A, B, C, D. Then A inverse is equal to this. We need one divided by the determinant of the matrix. And then inside the matrix, if we recall, we take the numbers on this diagonal, the A and the D, and we've switched them places. We take the numbers on this diagonal, the B and the C, and we switch their signs. Okay, That's the formula to find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. Now specifically, the part that is interesting to us to answer this question up here is this. Okay. We know in a fraction we can never divide by zero. Okay, so when does a two by two matrix not have an inverse? Well, the answer to that question is when the determinant, when the determinant equals zero. Okay, so we have to choose any two by two matrix whose determinant is not zero. As long as we do that, we're going to be perfectly fine. So back to our problem. We've got our message, math is awesome. We've got it translated into numbers. We had those numbers inputted into a matrix. We have to pick a two by two matrix that has an inverse. Now you can pick whatever numbers that you want as long as their determinant isn't zero. I choose to keep my numbers kind of small. I kind of stayed away from negative numbers, but really whatever you wanted would work. So I picked the matrix 5, 2, 3, 2. Okay. If I find the determinant, I get 10 minus 6, and 10 minus 6 is not 0. It's good enough for me. Okay. So we're going to multiply these two matrices together. Now you can do it by hand, certainly, with all these rows here and all these columns over on this one or you can use your graphing calculator that can do matrices. Um, I'm going to choose to do my graphing calculator that will do matrices for me. Okay. So what I do is I type these numbers, these matrices in. So if you go to matrix and you edit matrix A, um, you notice that this matrix is an 8 by 2. If you count up the rows, there are 8 rows and there's 2 columns. And So I've already got that typed in and I've already got the numbers put in. They match the numbers on the page. Okay. Now I need to edit matrix B. So notice it's a 2 by 2 and it's these numbers that are on the page. Okay. Now I need to take the matrices I need to multiply them together like that. And what I get is a list of new numbers. Okay. So I took that list of numbers and I copied it down on my paper here. Okay, so here's my math is awesome message, but coded. Okay, so we've got numbers that are now unrecognizable as far as matching them up to letters in the alphabet. Well, here we have it, our coded message. We present this message to somebody that we want to decode uh, for us. We're trying to send a secret transmission, a secret message, and so here it is. Uh, anybody that intercepts this is going to have no idea what this message says because 68 is not a, a number that corresponds to our alphabet. Now there's 28, 124, so we cannot translate these numbers into letters unless we have a key. We need a key that will unlock this code. And the key that we need is the matrix used to make this message. So what do we need to know? We need to know the matrix, or our key, if you will, to unlock this, we need to know that the matrix 5, 2, 3, 2, we need to know that that matrix was used to make these numbers. If whoever sends us this message also sends us the key, well then we can unlock the message. Okay. So the question is, how do we unlock the message? Yeah. Well, if we took the original numbers times this, 
to get our coded message, then all we need to do is undo that. So how do we undo that? Um, we undo it like this. We're going to put these coded numbers back into a matrix. Okay, so somebody gives us this string of numbers, we're going to put them back into a matrix. And instead of multiplying by this one here, what we're going to multiply by is the inverse of this one. The inverse will undo what we've done here. Okay. So again, this is calculator work. I'm going to type this matrix in, I'm going to type this matrix in, and I'm going to have multiply this one times this one's inverse, and it's going to spit out a string of numbers for me. Okay. So let's show you what that looks like. So in my calculator, I'm going to type in first that matrix A, which is the messaging code, and it is an 8 by 2, and there you see I've already got all the numbers typed in for us. And now I'm going to type in matrix B. There's my key. Okay, my key I'm going to use to unlock this. And now I get back to my main screen. I'm going to tell the calculator we want that matrix A. I want my message times not the key, not matrix B, but the inverse, that negative one button. I want the inverse of that key. And there's my numbers. And notice they're much more recognizable. They are numbers that are uh, 1 through 26, so they represent letters of the alphabet. The zeros represent spaces. And now you can start matching them up. 13 is M, 1 is A, 20 is T, 8 is H, and there's my space. So the first word right up here is math. And then we keep translating uh, numbers to letters, and we get the entire coded message. So there you have it. There is kind of step by step how to take any message you want, uh, code it so that it's completely unrecognizable, and then how you would give that to somebody and how that person could then decode your message. And that's exactly going to be your activity for today.